Hello YouTube, how are you? This is Antiroxon and I figured I should probably make a video on how to access the Russian version of Arcage because I feel what uh, Tryon did is a little bit uh, upsetting and if you don't know what they did, basically they contacted the Russian company responsible for Arcage in, in Russia and they asked them to start banning American IPs which is something that I feel they shouldn't have done um, so what happened now is that basically if you had an account with the Russian um, Arcage prior to uh, I think it was April 12th or something um, You can still play the game. I, I mean, I can totally log in and I've been playing the game regularly and I've been Leveling up and uh, I'm playing from Canada. So basically I'm fine But unfortunately if you're a new player and you want to try to log in you can't North America and Europe have, have been IP banned and you can't really access the game unfortunately uh, because Tryon decided to make some money and I really disagree with how they did this by introducing the alpha that cost an arm and a leg. It's $150 for an alpha and yes it gives you a lot of benefits. Yes you can play early access and you can you get all these different features. You get um, three months of subscription, you get a glider, you get a, you get a cloak and a title it's 150 bucks no other game I remember cost that much so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna help you guys out um, because I happen to speak Russian so I'm gonna show you step by step how to get access to Arcage using proxy servers um, if you've never used proxies before there's lots of them available but here's the thing you actually have to find a proxy from former Soviet republics or Russia that uh, oh my voice died there for a second or basically any any kind of a proxy that is from that region will do uh, the one I found right here is actually from Georgia it's called gvrabi.com and uh, this is the one I'm going to be using so what you do is you uh, type in the um, the Russian arcage web address which is aa.mail.ru are you and you browse to it and you'll get this website right here hey arcage welcome russia yeah okay so this is pretty straightforward now this is what you're looking for this button right here says register uh, you can probably if you have chrome like i do usually you have a button that pops up that asks you to translate but this is what you're looking for registration uh it's right on or under email you click on that and you're going to be taken to this instruction thingy right here so this is what you need to do now for this game to work you have to get an account um, with mail.ru which is their basically like their gmail uh, service and um, this is where you type in your email and I already have mine this is where you type in your password for mail.ru and this is your uh, nickname for for the forum I never used one but basically whatever you want you just put it in there and then click this big red button which will register you on uh, for, for the account so let me show you how to get the mail.ru um, account you can do that without this uh, proxy it's not really necessary because that's a regular uh, mail service and basically that's the company responsible for for what you might call it for a delivering the the game to the public so let me just uh, i'm gonna exit this and so there we go so um first step click on this button right here that says register uh, for mail in Russian it means register okay so you register okay it's gonna take a while it will stay with me all right so now we're gonna be registered for a Russian email because why not so this is your name first name Bob uh, oh okay I just remember something you actually have to use uh, what is it called the Russian letters and this is how you do it you go to a website called translit.ru t-r-a-n-s-l-i-t dot r-u click on that so you actually have to type your name in in Russian letters because it does check if it's in Russian or not so I'm gonna write Bob in uh, so if you just write with with the uh, English keyboard it will actually translate it directly through Russian letters so I'm gonna be Bob and I'm gonna be Bob uh, what's my Russian family name Putin 
because you, they, uh, a mail service can never reject Putin as a family name, as you know, because that's illegal by, by Russian law. Um, okay, uh, this is your birthday. So this is day, let's just say 10th, uh, month. You, you can probably guess that these are months. Uh, January and year, choose something that's where, that makes you older than 18 years old. So let's just say 86. Uh, city. Now, when you click on a city, you'll see a bunch of cities pop up. The first one is Moscow. That's where Putin lives. So I'm going to ch choose that. That's your gender. Choose whatever you are. This is male, female. Um, and this is where you choose your, your, <laughs> your male. And I like the first one. Put in Bob at list that, uh, at, no, I'm going to choose that male dot are you. Hey, there's already a Putin Bob. Really? Okay, let's choose Putin B. Yeah, that works. Putin B at, uh, oh, come on. Mail that, are you? Nope, that doesn't work either. Uh, okay, sure, B86. That, I'm sure nobody would have that, right? Let me copy it for a sec. And this is your password. So enter your password once and twice. I'm gonna choose something super easy that I can remember and you cannot see because it's all start out. Um, and, okay, and this is where, this is kind of tricky, it says, basically, if you have a mobile phone, click here, and enter your number, this, this button right here says, I don't have a mobile phone, so click that, uh, it will ask you for a secret, um, uh, question, so, this is, basically, you don't really need to, this, you can choose anything, uh, I'll choose, um, name of my grandma, and then basically here, just enter whatever you want. It's going to be put in for me again. So I'm going to take this and copy it again and paste it in here. And this is your, um, your actual main email. So I'm going to choose just a random email that doesn't actually exist, but will you can actually choose your actual real email. Uh, and I'm going to save this because I'll probably forget what my login name is. Now you just press the green button and it will ask you for that, um, what you call it, to confirm. Now this is really, oh wait, I can't even see this. Okay, let me, give me a second here. I, I don't know if this has to be in English letters or Russian, I forgot. Because this is, I think this is new. Okay, I think these are Russian letters. All right, so this might be tricky then. So this is the confirmation code where that, um, what is that called, the capture code. And for this, you may need to play around with the translate until you can see the letters. Oh, right, I was wrong, you have to enter English letters. So it's actually English letters, English alphabet, so, uh, or Latin alphabet. So there you go, so now you have your mail. Uh, this is not important. You can basically kind of sort of skip this. Now you go back here, to your arcage thing, and then you enter your, oh crap, what was it, put in, I knew I was, I was going to forget this, put in B86, I believe, and your password for your, okay, that's good, the green means good, uh, in Russia, green also good, then password and your nickname, so I'm going to be put in 86, and, and that's it, and then you press register, and cross your fingers, should work. All right, so it worked. Uh, so put in 86, that's a confirmation sound. Uh, now you have to download the game. So you've got that do part down. A uh, big red button right here above the green button says download game. And basically, you don't have to use proxy anymore. You can actually access the game without the proxy now. Um, and and this big red button right here is to download the game. You can see on the bottom it says it's an um, executable file, arch age, arch age loader that exe. And so now just to test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to access this without the proxy. So this is no proxy. Now your next step is basically once um, the game opens up, once you open the file, uh, you should see something like this. It's going to be a big blue window with a bunch of games on the bottom. I don't, I can't really, it doesn't really show, but here you go. Uh, it says R gauge right here. Um, and it says, this is, this means install. So before you click on that, you need to log in and you log in by clicking on this button right here with the, 
with the face, with the Facebook face, and enter your login name and password. So put in b86 at mail.ru, your password. And at this point, you don't actually need proxy anymore. So basically here, this is all proxy free. Log in. It's going to say uh, waiting to authorize. And there you go. Bob Putin is logged in. Now, I, all I have to do is click on this big green button and it's going to install the game. So mine is already installed. Yours will probably take a little bit longer. Once this is done, you'll see a big bu uh, green button that says start game right here as well. And that's all. That's all you have to do. Start the game, get inside, uh, explore, play around. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. Some things might be a little bit confusing uh, because it's in Russian, but it is a pretty straightforward game. It's, uh, it's an awesome game. You should definitely try it out. And I don't think anyone should be paying 160 whatever dollars to to try this game because it's just yes it's an alpha but what what's going to happen if everyone starts paying 160 bucks for an alpha um a lot of developers will make it a habit and basically from now on every single game will be ridiculously expensive so let's hope that try and learns their lesson and never does it again and other companies don't follow suit so thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I'm going to put a lot more arcade videos and thank you for everything, guys. Bye bye.